I'm going to give you an introduction to user scripts. User scripts are basically JavaScript files that you uh, write to be executed on a website for either Grease Monkey or Tamper Monkey. I'm going to assume that you already know how to install the <laughs> plugin, which is what every tutorial does for some reason. Um, I'm looking at it from a perspective of development. So, one of the things I wanted to write a user script for was just the password field. I want to be able to see the characters. I don't want to be blanked out. Um, it just kind of makes things easier. I have so many accounts and passwords that uh, sometimes I forget or I misspell it and then I have to keep guessing because I think it was the wrong password and then I end up locking myself out of the account. So some of the roadblocks I encountered were uh, just writing the regular expression to match the website. I didn't realize it was regular expression but um, I want it to match on a global level and so this is one way that you can do that. The second thing was uh, jQuery. I wanted to use, be able to use jQuery and uh, you can import a script through CDN using the uh, require attribute. Um, then the third thing was a scoping issue with JavaScript which I solved by using this. And then the next issue <laughs> I encountered was uh, for some reason jQuery doesn't support changing the type attribute on input fields. Uh, they'll just throw an exception. So what I'm going to do is uh, write a quick script for that. Basically, Once you've gotten past the importing your scripts that you needed, the matching, uh, it really just comes down to just writing JavaScript for your page and it's pretty simple from there. I'm just going to show you how I overcame um, that password field issue and just my implementation of it. grab the element by its ID. I'm looking for inputs with a type attribute type of password. Mm, a little sloppy today. Then I'm going to get their ID. Now that I have it, I'm going to set the attribute type equal to text. So now that I can see it. And if I uh, test this out, it works. Um, let's try it on Stack Overflow. I had some issues with them too. Yay! So, that's how I did it. Just remember uh, your metadata attributes and any potential scoping issues, it would be best to do it this way. After that, it's all gravy.